Hey everyone, I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com, and with me is Matt from Biff Band Pop in the middle of your screen, and on the right <laughs> is Jason from Downstab.com. Hello. So we are still on this untitled video game show. <laughs> uh, one day we'll figure out a name, but these this is the original crew from the recurring boss cast back from oh. SplitKick.com. It's Reunited. been a long time. Uh, really, Reunited you and it feels so yeah. good. <laughs> and so, yeah, we just want to chat about video games and stuff. Informal show. I mean, we'll just chat whenever we have the time and whenever it's convenient for us. So it's going to be a rotating group of people as we go. But uh, it's good to see you guys again. Cool. You too, man. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So what's, wow. go what's been going on with you guys? Let's start with Matt because you weren't on the last one. Yeah, well, I watched the last one, so I noticed, I, I found out about the hole in your wall. I okay. found out about it's covered that. now. It's covered now. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Hashtag with yeah. the north. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, that way that's there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good cover, man. Very, yeah. very good. So it's good. Um, yeah, so uh, not a whole lot has changed. I moved, so I used to be in High Park, which is uh, downtown Toronto. Now I am in Bradford, which is nice. farm country, far farther, much farther north. Okay. Uh, so the, the the quality of living has improved, but the commute to work has <laughs> definitely degraded. Um, but yeah, uh, things are good. Uh, I'm still writing for a bit fan pop, still playing a lot of games, and uh, yeah, really excited to for the reunion here for the for the po <laughs> for the the podcast reunion. It's awesome. Man. To get to work, wh what do you? What is your commute like? Like, where are you going to? So I I commute essentially down the 404. So oh, this no. to, to Jason, Jason, this isn't gonna make sense oh, to you. So no. don't worry. Oh yeah, tell me about it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the 404. Uh, yeah, so the 404 to uh, Don Mills and Eglinton. So I take the DVP and everything in the morning. So yeah, generally about an hour to an hour and a half each way. Yeah, the DVP the, is like the worst highway in yeah. Toronto. I've yeah. heard a stat that the 401 is actually the most the busiest highway in the world but it doesn't feel hmm. that way at least the traffic is not as bad even at its worst it's not dvp bad no 100 percent uh it is probably the worst highway ever <laughs> it's never it's never good no i mean every day it's i mean if if, if you're if it's in traffic it's normal that's that's the problem yeah. right like it's never clear yeah you're so, faster on a bicycle on the dvp you, you are, actually. If you got to the entrance of the DVP the same time I did in my car and you were on a bike, you'd make it. Yeah. Way faster than I would. Yeah. There's a, a very similar highway here, the 101, which is, oh my God. It's always traffic, like you said, always traffic. And I think, I feel like when they made it, they didn't expect it to be like as frequented because exits are legit like two seconds and it's like, oh, better get off. And then if you don't get off, like you're going to stay on this stupid highway. And then there's always <laughs> traffic collisions and people don't know where they're going and it's just uh avoid it at all costs yeah for sure mm. but it's the only way to get to like ikea so we have to go uh, sometimes <laughs> IKEA's so clutch yeah, i know right jason what are you what are you getting up to uh man we haven't <laughs> we haven't done like anything it's just been like work uh even like around the house uh just cleaning up outside because it's starting to get nicer out and i don't know nothing really so i was trying to stretch and uh I collect Amiibos now, too. Oh, okay. You guys know what they are, right? And so I got this really nice find at our store. Someone returned it, so I bought I bought this guy. Whoa. You can see him. Nice. Yeah. Whoa. You'll That's see cool. him on the stream, and it's like, oh, my God, I was so happy. Because it's, like, discontinued, and I was like, this is going to be great. So Detective Pikachu is, is in the family. I was trying to put him up somewhere behind me, but I don't think there's room because there's too many freaking games back there. Yeah. Detective <laughs> Pikachu is massive compared to regular Amiibos. Yeah. Oh, I should have had another one. Yeah, but he's, like, four times as big. And so I was like... I should have this four times as much as anything else. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so we got that. And then um, not really more life stuff, but just gaming in general. Uh, I was finally able to get a really good find on Craigslist uh, maybe a week or week and a half ago. Uh, this guy was normally goes to the flea market that we have, but he didn't put his stuff on the flea market. He went on Craigslist and it was for um, eight Sega Saturn games with a controller. That's and um, yeah, it's not bad. But uh, what I really liked was one of the games was... Uh, um, X Men Children of the Atom, which nice. is awesome, and like it's not the greatest game ever, but the Saturn port is the best port of it. And um, one of my really early gameplay vids on my channel is actually of a uh, Children of the Atoms for PS One, and it's like complete garbage. So uh, <laughs> I, I just need to set up my Saturn, and I'll I'll do a comparison video to show the two. But I was happy, and there's other games on there too. It also had um, Fighters Mega Mix, 
Do you guys know what that one is or no? That's the like basically Sega Smash Bros. in Virtual Fighter, right? Yes, that's exactly right. And uh, it has it has every character from Virtual Fighter Two and from Fighting Vipers, which is another fighting video game. Uh, but then it also has like ridiculous guest characters. Like the most famous one is the the Hornet car from Daytona USA. Oh, is yeah, a play- I remember. Play- oh, nice. play- yeah, and then there's other like random Sonic characters and people that you can be. So I'll have to try it out. I never never played that one yet. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I've yeah. got some retro stuff going on at my house too. I because I moved into this house and I've got space for things. I've asked my brother if I can get back our Nintendo 64 and GameCube stuff. And so I went to the house, and yes. my brother's like, oh, yeah, everything's downstairs, no prob. We find everything, except, and, like, a couple of things are missing. So I've got all the games, I've got memory cards, I've got some of the N64 controllers. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, like, the consoles are gone, and I'm like, where, where did these huh. go? Like, I very vividly oh, remember them being in this specific container. It's a clear container with a blue lid. Uh, I go to my parents' bedroom, and one of them is being used for laundry now. And the other one <laughs> just has, like, tax documents. And I'm like, where, where the hell did the consoles go? And my brother looks, tears his room up, and he finds the GameCube controllers just collecting dust on the floor under his desk, which he didn't even remember were there. And then huh. the Nintendo 64, the remaining Nintendo 64 controllers were in a bin in the basement that was completely different from the one that I remember putting it in. So I have mm-hmm. everything except for a GameCube and a Nintendo 64 to play these things on. And oh. it was actually kind of sad. Like, it made me think of, I mean, this is kind of a horrible analogy, but like someone goes missing and you find an arm and a leg and you just can't find like the <laughs> head and the torso. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm going to have to look for a new Nintendo 64 and GameCube. Aww. It's unfortunate because they're not cheap anymore. Yeah, no. I was about to say, uh, N64 is like the, the hot topic for collectors right now. Yeah, 